Hey traders and investors, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so this is aimed at every single type of trader. You may not think this is aimed at you, but I promise you this is aimed at everybody, whether you're a day trader, whether you are a swing trader, investor, whatever. Now, I am guilty of ignoring the weekly chart. Many of you know I'm kind of a short-term guy. I like to trade shorter term. I'm extending my time frame out as I kind of go through different cycles of trading and look at different market conditions. But ultimately, you know, I'm a short-term trader. That's really where my biggest edge is. So I'm guilty of not looking at the weekly chart. And the other day I was reading an article and it mentioned the weekly chart. I thought, who looks at the weekly chart? And actually on the traders meet I do, one of the guys there who, who is a very good Forex trader talks about the weekly chart regularly. And I'd say I never look at the weekly chart, but in actual fact, I think we should. And here's why. There's a couple of reasons. The first reason is it makes you align, it keeps you aligned with the overall trend. Let's have a look at USD JPY. Okay, you look at USD JPY and you've got a danger. Let me clear off some of this stuff here so we can see this, keep it nice and clean. There's a danger of kind of getting sucked into the daily chart or getting sucked into the uh, five minute chart even, but let's just keep it the daily chart. On a daily chart, you know, it looks like we've had a nice rally up here from 105 to 111, very, very strong. We're pulling back quite aggressively now, but you know, it looks quite good. If you kind of look to your daily chart, you think, well, that's quite a nice strong thing. Then when you step back to the weekly, it helps you put it into a bigger perspective. You say, you know what? We're actually in a downtrend on a weekly. Here you go. We're actually tagging the upper level of that weekly. And it's really not much happening. In fact, we have rallied up quite hard from back there. But in reality, you know, in the past kind of how many years it may be, we are in a pretty solid downtrend. We've had some real hot, hot, you know, heavy moves to the downside, push back up, but we're still in the downtrend. So it helps you keep perspective is number one. It helps you look at the bigger picture and say to yourself, hey, you know what? Actually, when I look at it in in, in perspective of the whole kind of multi-year cycle, I get a different view of it. And so that can help you now. It's not to say if you're swing trading, there's not plenty of meat to trade going against the weekly time frame. But, you know, often just checking it to see where we are. Hey, are we nudging up against a downtrend line on a weekly? If we are, maybe this daily bullish chart doesn't look so good because I might get screwed because I'm buying it too late you know it's it's that kind of thing and the other thing is having the conviction to hold if you imagine here you're in euro okay you're in euro US dollar and you've sold it on a daily whatever that looked like on a daily you've gone short and it started to push down you would look at if you hadn't looked at the weekly chart you wouldn't see that you've broken this uptrend line you wouldn't see that actually you know we're in a downtrend it was a cycle up it's about to push lower there's lots of support here. there's plenty of kind of room down here there's weekly support down here so it gives you the kind of um, confidence to hold your trade, even if it is for a three day, a four day, because you say, you know what, if the weekly is behind me, then the weekly is going to help me kind of really get the things going because the big players are looking at the way bigger time frames than, than than kind of a 15 minute or whatever you're looking at and the weekly is the kind of something they're looking at they're looking for those multi-year moves where money moves from one thing rotates into the next rotates into the next they're trying to identify that from a fundamental perspective and from a weekly perspective so the first thing is to uh, look at bigger patterns on a bigger time frame understand the bigger picture I'm not necessarily saying suggest you should pull the trigger on a weekly always look and see hey you know what if we're nudging up against resistance do i really want to go long do i really want to go short if we're pushing on on weekly support maybe i want to wait a little bit the second thing is the confidence to hold the trade for longer if you feel like it looks like you're in a turning point or in a good position on a weekly chart you can feel more comfortable to hold that trade hold it stick with it and run with it and the third thing i wanted to mention guys is using it as a filter so if you look at the weekly chart let's have a look at uh silver i know silver at the moment in time when i'm doing this video uh is an interesting thing where are we silver 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 there we go okay so we've got silver and we're looking at silver and we can say actually look we've come down from a really distinct high so really this is noise now there's not much going on. We're kind of in a situation where we're going to break out one way or another. And I'm very loosely drawing this on here. I'm just drawing this for kind of example purposes. You know, and so what you can do is you can say, hey, listen, I like trading silver, but I'm going to use as a filter the weekly chart and say, I do not want to get involved with silver unless I see something that's really, really useful, i.e. we break into this area or we break into this area. I'm a trader. I don't really care. Let these guys battle it out. The weekly chart is showing me that we're chopping around. 
I don't want to get caught in chop. I don't want to. I want to trade momentum. I want to wait until we see some aggressive move. And so my weekly chart is where I go to add a filter and say I don't want to get involved until we see these levels. Silver is just an example. It could be anything. The good point is, guys, it gives you a good filter. You don't get caught up in daily noise thinking, oh, there's four or five days aggressive move. I'm not saying there's not opportunity there, but what I'm saying is, if it also on a weekly ties up, it's big opportunity. That's where the bigger money, the bigger plays come from, is when we see extended extended moves on higher higher time frames when the weeklies are breaking out of channels when the weeklies are breaking to highs when the weeklies are breaking resistance and support levels and you see a daily opportunity that's when the real sweet spot comes so using it to uh, look at the bigger time frame, high and bigger picture. Second, keeping you in the trade. If you're on a weekly trend and the weekly trends behind you, and you're in a trend on a, on a lower time frame, like a daily or a 120 minute, whatever it is, you can feel more comfortable, confident holding it. And finally, you've got it as a filter. Really useful if you're trading a lot of different things like stocks, specifically commodities, currency pairs, filtering out based on the weekly to give you a better opportunity for success. All right, guys, good trading. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye.